But in one of those letters, and I'm going to read it to you verbatim, that's the beauty of this text, it's um, lots of eyewitness accounts. And he says this, he says to her, In your first letter, you expressed your desire that I should not regard myself as your master, but an equal comrade. Have no fear. Although the scriptures say that the husband is the head of the wife and family, nowhere does it say that a wife is a slave to her husband. And may you know that I am a Christian, and I am aware that a husband and wife are to cooperate kindly and mutually and help one another to achieve their ultimate goal for which they were created. Dion, take you, Emily, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honour you all the days of my life. I, Emily, take you, Dion, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad in sickness and in health, to love you and to honour you all the days of my life. Let us congratulate our newly married couple.
I'm right. My wife? <laughs> I'm so thankful to call you my wife. Um, I love you more than anything in this world. I will do everything for you. I will lay it all on the line for you. Like they should have been stuck on the roof. I think Bon Jovi's got a hold of me too much. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I can't wait to have, apparently, once again, so many children. I love you more than anything. And I'm so glad to call you Emily Matalich. <laughs> Just in closing guys, I'd just like to say that when I look around the room tonight, I don't see friends, I see only family. And I'd like to propose a toast to everybody here. To the best family in the world. I love you all. Thank you so much. Jubilee.